This lady has been single for more than two years and she was wondering how uh, she could get men to approach her. This would be very interesting. Let's take a look into what's going on in her life. I need somebody to give me the fucking tutorial on how to be a woman that a man feels comfortable approaching. Like, I am trying to work so hard on my resting bitch face. I don't know how to portray, like, single. Talk to me. Talk to me. I'm, I'm single. I've been single for two years. I it seems there's a lot of frustration out there and uh also confusion i mean i mean we've got this lady right she's reaching out for the ultimate tutorial on how to be a woman that a man feels comfortable approaching i mean it's a common struggle and now uh, our friend here is working hard on her approachable face but is modern dating really that complicated or are there deeper issues at play Modern dating has a lot of problems because most women of this generation have the wrong assessment of their dating options. They were told that all of them are 10s, so they deserve the top 10% of men. Therefore, most of them automatically disqualify all men who are not part of the top 10%. We all know that her problem is not the fact that men are not approaching her, but the fact that she is not being approached by Chad and Tyrone, and this is why she is mad. Instead of waiting for Chad to approach her, she should give a second look at the guy in her friend zone. Because they are probably her best option as they will treat her really well. I think most men can recognize a high-maintenance, self-absorbed, demanding, sissistic, unrealistic woman within the first few minutes of meeting her, which is around the same amount of time most women know if she's going to sleep with him, or just friend zone him or use him as a meal ticket. Don't go for Tyrone and Chad in your 20s, then you won't have this problem. Three words would solve all their problems. Stop. Chasing. Chad. That chic mad that men are not approaching her has probably been approached several times, but gave the guy the cold shoulder because he wasn't six feet or whatever. Just know this problem ain't in the United States only. South Africa here speaking, and the expectations of relationships have been ruined by celebs and the socials. These days, you can't even approach a woman by walking, but instead, you must be pulling up in a car looking like an influencer 24-7. I went out tonight and on a single soul saw my outfit that was relevant, so I thought somebody on the internet could at least see it, because um, I thought it was really cute. So I wore these platform boots with my favorite mid-rise shorts, and this like silver metallic top with metallic matching necklace and my new black bomber jacket. Yeah, I mean, I would have talked to me in this outfit, but not a single man or woman approached me. So, um, I'm home. Has it been this bad? It's 2 a.m. Not a single and man or watch woman. I'm going to Linings playbook and sit with my cat. Okay. Have a good night, everyone. <laughs> she is attractive and shouldn't have a problem being approached. But the way things are going, we will have more clips like this, where a woman complains about not being approached. And this is something women can easily change, by changing the way they interact with men when they are approached, regardless if the guy is Chad or not. Most men want to approach. We want to build connection and family with women. But due to their past experiences, a lot of men are stepping... I mean, just taking a look at... No... The fear of approaching, you know, men are hesitant due to the fear of rejection and so, uh, social consequences. But women take note, if you are frustrated about not being approached by the chat, maybe it's time to reassess and appreciate the germs in your friend zones. And they're saying, well, it's your fault because, you know, 50 plus percent of you are not even approaching women in the first place. But we want to go a little bit deeper than that. I think we can feel that a little bit, and I think we'll get to the conclusion that men should go out and talk to women, but we should also ask ourselves why they don't want to approach mm -hmm. women. But let's get into what those reasons are first. Okay, so the number one reason why men fear approaching other women is rejection, fear of rejection. And the number two reason is fear of social consequence. Which is like what? Like being laughed at, bullied, mm -hmm. told that you're ugly or something like that. 
And the rest of the men stated that they were afraid of things like legal action or that they weren't attracted to the woman or some other reason for not approaching them. I mean, and it turns out a lot of women do not want to be approached in the first place, according to this study in the group. These are the times we're living in right now. Nearly 23% of them say they do not want to be approached whatsoever. Whoa. That's about one in four. Yes. So your odds are pretty good. Yeah. 75% want attention. As a woman, though, <laughs> I can imagine a lot of women being like, yeah, I want to be approached. And yeah, you know, I want men to chat mm. me up. But as soon as the wrong type of man does that, they are screaming. That this is where the issue is coming from. Most women want to be approached by. I mean, women have the power to change narrative. All you need to do is to be polite, to be kind, and maybe consider approaching someone yourself. I mean, it's time to break free from the colonial programming and create this genuine connection, I'll say. And uh, most of the changing dating landscape is mostly influenced by social media and heightened expectations. So young men express difficulties they face in a world where masculinity and femininity seems to be shifting. So let's recognize that both sides have challenges to address. I don't know what to do. While I would say that young women have near impossible standards today, there's definitely a level of responsibility that young men need to have. Before you even try dating, I would encourage you to just practice talking with people. Not just women, but also men. Build your character and your charm. Get your money and your body right, but most importantly, know how to talk to people. To many young men think of women as these beings that can bring them happiness, forgetting that they are just normal people. I haven't approached to women in a while. I've done it. They don't have feelings for me, and that's fine. At least I know. I didn't get what I wanted, but it's what I need. I don't blame guys for not wanting to approach women, because with most women you can't make any mistakes around them. I am a 30 plus year old man and I have never once approached a woman in the pursuit of romance. Ever. Fear of rejection and humiliation is a factor, but it goes way deeper than that. Firstly, I have absolutely no idea what to do or say. I have zero ability to understand or perform subtext. It's alien to me. What is the main challenge of dating Australian women nowadays? Definitely women are hyper-masculine, you know, they're very, they're very independent, they're in control, they want to control everything and I think what we, what we kind of miss with men is that it takes a lot of courage and a lot of bravery to actually go up to a woman and ask her to go on a date, you know, and there's that fear of rejection and no one wants to get rejected but these guys are out there, they're taking a hit and they're coming up to these women that aren't feminine, they're not playful, they're defensive, they're aggressive and then the women are complaining about, you know, well why, why don't men approach me and it's like, well, that's why. I agree with her view of it. She just made some valid points. This is caused by their actions and it will continue until they change their attitude. We want to approach women, but our current society is making it harder. She explained it well. Until you get a flat tire. If they are independent and are in control of everything, then they should ask the bloke out. They want to control everything. She just handed out a major red flag with that statement. So act some few comments here. Yeah. 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 Has there been guys that approach you on the street and did it wrong? Oh, yes. absolutely. Yes. I feel like that's the main go-to. Yeah. So what are some pitfalls that guys run into in that? The cat calling. Being aggressive. The yeah. rude names. Yeah. <laughs> so what would you suggest? I think if you're genuinely interested in someone, like walking up to them and saying, I think you're really beautiful. I've seen these two gentlemen, they came in the coffee shop as I was working, and they were very attractive men. And we made eye contact and all of that, but I I didn't know if, like, it'd be weird if I went up to them and would have been like, hey, like, I think you're really cute. Like, is that, is that, would you guys appreciate that? I don't know. We wouldn't mind being approached, and to be honest, it would be better. I know for sure most guys will appreciate it if women start approaching more, as it would make things easier and better for both. I never made the first move. 
growing up never made the first move growing up in a household with a single mother and seeing the issues she has in relationship really pushed me away from wanting a relationship when a woman approaches me as usual scream do not approach me works great hey i'm a shy person around women but i will try to approach women thank you so these are some of their comments that uh, lots and lots of men have been putting out there so it's always up for the ladies to take heed of these comments but uh, it's clear that modern dating is really really a complex dance but no let's remember that genuine connections are built on character charm and real conversations instead of blaming each other let's work towards this kind of understanding and building a dating culture that promotes authenticity and uh, yeah i think that's it for today thanks for tuning in i'd like to know your thoughts in the comment section below cheers